Welcome to MT Engineering. This is the first part of tutorial which is on modeling this beautiful maze tracer machine in SolidWorks. I hope you'll enjoy it. Open part. Then Go to extrude both base, choose front plane and draw a circle. And smart dimension, add dimension. One hundred fifty millimeter and offset into this to this circle uh, offset around 7 millimeter again choose this and offset entities here 11 millimeter to the inside then choose line, draw a line around there and again draw a line from this point around here Then go to smart dimension, specify this angle 25 degree and this line to this line and mirror about this line. Click OK and using trim entities trim unnecessary parts. Click OK. Go to circular pattern and type the number of instances to six, then click OK. Then extrude both base, extrude it around 20 millimeter, and again choose this face and sketch, choose outer edge and this circle, convert into this, choose this point, drag it up to there to make it close circle. Then again, next go to extrude both base. around 3 millimeter choose front plane mirror now we get what we wanted now so choose right plane sketch we need some groove here for the belt, first we have to draw an axis, right click construction geometry, then zoom it and go to line, draw a line from here to there, like here, to close it draw these outer lines. Let's 
specify this angle to 120 degree similar for this here 3 millimeter and again here 3 millimeter choose this line and this defines the dimension to 5 millimeter then go to revolved scat and click ok now here we get this groove for the placement of the belt you can add an appearance on it now it looks good the second part choose parts and go to front plane sketch Here, choose the offset entities, offset around 50 millimeter in the outward direction and choose this circle and offset entities, offset is around 20 millimeter towards this inside and choose line, draw line, construction geometry choose the line again and draw a line from this circle up to this circle right click construction geometry sorry it is not construction geometry go to smart dimension and specify the angle 25 degree and mirror extend choose this line and mirror about this then click ok and erase unnecessary parts click ok now go to circular pattern underneath the linear pattern now we can select it so go to simply circular pattern and direction give the direction and choose the, those lines and arcs and here we go Sorry, here we need the number of instances six. Then click OK. Now we get this sketch. So go to features, extrude post base, extrude it around, keep mid plane, and extrude it around. Twenty three millimeter. 
क्लिक ओके चूज दिस फेस एंड स्केच चूज पोज ऑफ दिस आर्कस ड्रॉज इट चूज दिस पॉइंट इन ड्रॉग इट देयर एंड एक्सट्रूड पोज बेस एक्सट्रूड इट अराउंड टेन मिलीमीटर Mirror it with respect to the front plane. Then choose right plane. Sketch. Draw a line from this point to there, there, and there. To close the this sketch. We draw these unnecessary lines. Then let's go to smart dimension. Specify the dimension between these Here, three millimeter, and here again, three millimeter. Choose this and this line, and specify the dimension. Choose the line, and like as an axis of revolution. Choose this line and make it construction geometry. Go to features. Ext Sorry, we choose the revolved cut. Now we get this pulley. Here is the next part. Similarly, choose part, click OK. Choose top plane, sketch. Choose center rectangle. Draw a rectangle from this point. And specify the dimension. Extrude it around five millimeter. Make it construction geometry. Choose this line and this. Make it midpoint. Draw. Center arcs, choose this and this, make equal this and this equal. You type the dimension. Now it is fully defined. Go to extrude post base, extrude it around 
5 mm Then draw a line Make it construction geometry And again choose line From this point Around here And here Then type 33 radius Specify the dimensions 19 it is fully defined Add a new circle here again. Specify this dimension 60 millimeter and go to features, extrude both base. Twenty millimeter, then click OK. Choose this face and sketch. Draw center line around here, construction geometry. Make it equal. And one hundred five is eighty two point five millimeter. Here, draw a couple of lines, make them equal. Here. So all get it so on and click OK. Choose this face sketch. Choose a circle here. I make the circle center and draw circle here from the midpoint. Choose this circle and this circle. Make it equal. And specify the dimension here around 10 millimeter. Extrude cut throw on and click OK. Then choose this sketch and Draw a rectangle here. Choose this point. Drag it up to there. Okay. Extrude cut. Scroll on. Click OK. 
If you want, you can add an appearance on it. Thanks for watching.